Hi all. In this session, we are going to learn about store. In our previous session, we have understood what is prop and how props are used. And also we have seen how to create actions and how to create action creator. And also we have created our reducer. Now finally, it's time to create the store. So inside index.js, we already have our app component. In app.js, I will be removing this prop code. Uncomment this book container. Uncomment this one. Control B. And I will be deleting this prop.js. Only for explanation purpose, I have created the file. And I am assuming that you have seen the props video. So that we can continue with our store. And also I will be removing this save. Now I am having the result as library. Okay, previously, now we are back to our code. In our JS application, we have already seen about store. And I told you the most important thing that create store is deprecated in Redux. Because in Redux toolkit, we are having new method. And in that, I have explained you completely about create store method. For understanding Redux, we are going to use create store method in this session as well. Once we learn about Redux toolkit, then we are going to learn all the methods and all the properties which are available in Redux toolkit and what all we should not use when we are using Redux. I will do control V. Now inside this Redux library, we have already created at store.js. Now first thing what we are going to do, we are going to import create store from Redux. Inside Redux we are having that property, so we are just going to import that. So we will write here import. I will be writing here create store. Here for create store, I am having this strike. And when you hover on this, they are telling to use configure store method of the Redux toolkit package. So, which has been replaced with this create store. So, once we learn about Redux toolkit, then we will learn about configure store. As of now, we are not moving to Redux toolkit. To learn Redux toolkit, first you should understand Redux. Only then you will be able to compare Redux and Redux toolkit. Okay, first thing, we just have to import this one. Import create store from Redux. Now below this, I will be creating one const variable store and inside this, I am just going to assign this method. Copy, paste, for method we are just going to use like this. So what we have done, first we have imported create store from Redux, then we are just assigning that method to one variable. And as we have already seen, this create store will be taking reducer as its parameter. So to use reducer, First, we have to import this one. And that reducer is book reducer. I will come here. I will be writing import book reducer. Enter. You can see import book reducer from book reducer. Now I can copy this and I can store inside this one. Okay, three steps. First, import create store. Then create separate variable and assign this create store. And this create store will be taking reducer as its parameter. So we have imported our reducer. Now this store has to be used in separate components. So to use this, first we have to export this one. We will write here export default and we are just going to export our store. Once we export store, we can use this store in different components. I will say this. This is the code we are going to write in our store.js. Now I will come to app.js. Now it's time to provide our store to our application. And for that we are going to use component called provider which is provided by React Redux library. React Redux we have already seen about this library. Now inside that library we are having this component provider. From there, we are just going to import that. I will come. I will be writing here import. Import provider.
as soon as a heat enter it is going to give here react redux package and from this package we are just going to import this provider now i'm just going to wrap this provider component now for this book container component i am just going to wrap with this provider component i will be writing here provider close this i will copy this one and here below this i am just going to paste two steps i have performed i have imported this provider from react redux package and this is the first time in this entire project we are using react redux then we are just wrapping this provider then we have wrapped this provider to our container but here now you should be having a question we have created the store and we have just imported our provider but now how we are going to use store inside this so what we are going to do now the concept of props comes into play we are going to pass the store as a prop inside this provider component and why we are passing inside this provider component because this is wrapped to our application and our store will be available to all the components if it is on the top so i am just going to import store import as we have exported store so we can write here import and now we can use this store inside this in props we have already seen we are creating our custom attribute i will create my attribute as store and inside this curly braces i am going to pass my store as its value you can see now directly inside provider we are passing the store so that our store will be available to all the components and how we are passing we are passing as a prop and prop is nothing but prop is an object so you should remember whenever you are passing store it should be passed at the top of the app component so that this store will be available to all the components and they can access the data from the store so this is how we are going to create store but as of now it is not going to work because still no connection is made to our application so next session we are going to understand how to connect all the things together to get the result i will save this again if i just come to my result you can see the same output so inside store.js we have just written this four lines of code i have already given you the warning create store is deprecated only for learning purpose we are just using this method and inside app.js we have imported provider from react redux package then we have imported store which we have created then finally inside provider as a prop we are just passing this data so inside store whatever data we are having according to that we can dispatch the actions and we can get the result okay that's pretty much about store next we are going to see about connection